before I even re reviewed this pouch product, I I have known about Get Your Joy for a minute, but like I never thought I would like it. I was like, I can see how people would like it, but I don't think I'd like it at all. And I actually put it on and it was everything. And it's because... Hey y'all, it's your boy Rico. And Sam. And this week we are doing another review, but it's a little bit different. Uh, you guys all know how much we love our underwear and how obsessed we are with cute gay boy underwear. Yeah. However, we are well aware that most people in the community are not the same as us, and a lot of us just wear whatever kind of underwear we can buy that's cheap at the store and it comes with a six pack, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to do a video that was about packing, but with underwear that is it made for packers, you know, like your typical like Hanes, through the Loom, all those kind of underwear. Mm. Um, I mean, even like if you really want to go fancy and get like Calvin Klein's, but they don't have a pouch or whatever, yeah. whatever. This is about that. Uh, so we recently got in contact with a company called Get Your Joey. They are based out of Canada, mm -hmm. but they are awesome because they provide a bunch of pouches that you can pin to your underwear. Um, and they come in all different shapes and sizes, patterns, colors. All different kind of stuff, uh, so you can really customize it to fit some like what you like and what your personality is. Uh, they've got everything from like animals to TV shows, movies, solid colors, mm -hmm. whatever you're looking for. They've got it. Yeah, it's awesome because like you know with like packing underwear, it's expensive, right? And then like the laundry loads up. Like trans people always have to do fucking laundry, but with this, you can have way more underwear become packing underwear just from a little pouch that you just clip onto any underwear, and that's fucking dope. Yes. So uh, they sent us three kinds. Three different kinds, yes. Sam's wearing one, so I'm going to show you the other two. Yes. So this is pretty much what one of them looks like. This is called the classic Joey pouch um, with the hole. So it has this pattern here, a loose O-ring, and this is a microfibric antimicrobial blah 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 uh, material on the back, and then cotton in the front. And this is the classic, which is four inches in width and then seven inches in length. And there are four different sizes, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure, uh, Joey pouches. This is the classic. There's the ballsy, which is one inch lower. So if you have like a packer that's more dense or like bigger balls, definitely do the ballsy. We rock Mr. Limpy extra smalls, and I think it fits perfect. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's... It's snug, but it fits in well. Yeah, Mr. Limpy has big balls, but not big enough to consider it a ballsy, in my opinion. And then they have two other sizes. The Bantam, it's the same length, but it's actually half an inch uh, more narrow. So it's three and a half inches in width. And then another size down for like trans youth, which I just learned, which is really cool, the is uh, the Junior. Yeah, and it's same uh, width, it's three and a half, but it's actually six inches. So. Uh, Balls is like eight, Bantam Classic seven, and then Junior is six, and that's for uh, really small packers. Did you know they have like baby packers for guys that have sell baby packers? Yeah, I was uh, reading, watching a YouTube video from Get Your Joey, and they should show this little baby packers like this big. That's so cute. I know, and the pouch was the pouch was so small. It's like yeah, it's <laughs> designed for like ages nine and under, like nine to thirteen or fourteen. It's so crazy. I've never it's thought wild. about kids like that young packet. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. That's and then, cool though. And then they could put on whatever underwear, like fucking Hanes or Fruit of, Fruit of the Loom. Yeah. Um, so I will show you real quick how to eat, like put a packer inside of this. A little hack I heard about. Um, oh, let's get up close. Is to actually turn it inside out. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's actually... In my opinion, easier. Some people do it just whatever they way they want. So this is inside out now. I'm a righty, so I'm gonna put my left hand in it. And then you're gonna line up the balls towards the end of it, if that makes sense. Put the shaft through the hole. And then you're gonna push it back inside. Let me stay in frame here. I hope I was in frame. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's a good tight fit. There's hardly any uh, wiggle room. There's a little bit. But yeah, there you go. Um, one thing that could happen is this guy pokes out. I don't know if it's happened to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, luckily they have, uh, they call them tabs, I think. It's like a stabilizer. 
and um, you would just put it through the uh, shaft here and it creates a tab for you and that lies right behind the actual pouch, the o-ring part, so it's hidden and then this won't happen. And another thing to stabilize when you have a pouch with a hole is this is an elastic part here at the bottom. Some pouches, they will be closer to the top. Um, I actually DM'd, I don't know if you saw the messages, I messaged Corey, I think. Mm -hmm. I'll get your joy on Instagram, because I, I saw this, I was like, I don't understand what is this for, because it's like too low to put the, the phallus through there or whatever. And he said, it is to stabilize it, but I think it'd make way more sense to put it up top of the front. Yeah. Because it just true. doesn't work. If you put it on the front, on the top part, then it'll create, it'll act as that tab you can get that sold separately, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. But I think some pouches do um, come with the elastic tab higher up. And I could totally just do it myself, actually. I could just, like, cut it and sew it on. Yeah. This is the Sport. Mm -hmm. Classic with no hole. Um, the material is, like, what? Like, gym short? Yeah, I would say it's, like, jersey gym short kind of thing. Yes, jersey. It's like this. If you can tell, yeah, you can see. And to show you inside out, it's not, oh shit, that's the safety pin. It's not like you just throw the packer in there and just like fix oh, it. Oh, I was curious about that, yeah. Yeah, there's a lip right here. So what you do is you put your phallus in there, line up the balls towards like the end here as best as you can, like that, and then you're just going to push it on over. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. and sometimes you gotta fix the actual shaft unless you want it to lean a certain way. Nice and snug. Yeah. Yeah, it's called sport, of course, because, like, if you're active, totally get one without a hole. Um, and also, if you have, like, sensitive, expensive packers, definitely get this. You know what I mean? Rather than just, just protect it. Yeah. Yeah. With so let's just get into this. Woo! All right. Yeah, so these are just some no-name underwear I have that don't have a pouch on them. Uh, they're just like boxer briefs. Um, they are a little big on me, and I think I wish I would have worn smaller underwear to today in order to show this video. But because this, because these underwear are a little bit wider on me, it's kind of like moving around a little bit more than I would have liked. I wore these to work today, and I am a server, and so I just noticed that it was kind of like turning in my pants and like going a little bit sideways, or like I would like get caught up. Like, you know, you know, like cis men, you know, they like, oh, yeah, yeah. crush their balls. Like I was crushing my balls and I was like, oh, that's, that's what that feels like. Um, you have it through the hole, right? Yes, okay. it is through the hole. Um, so yeah, basically how these work is you put that pouch. So this is, this is mine. This one's called Green Birds and it's got the hole and yeah. And then you just like kind of pin it to this thing and then it just kind of hangs there so you can shake it shake it around and mm -hmm. it'll move um i obviously feel secure about it like i don't think that i'm gonna lose my packer it's not gonna fall it's not gonna go anywhere i just think that um maybe wear tighter underwear with these um just because it, it does kind of move around or shake around a little bit or if you're not gonna wear tight underwear like if you're a boxer guy that's totally cool but uh just maybe make sure you like your pants are on tight enough i think that my only concerns with these um and we could talk about alternatives too but i think that my only concern with these is like i noticed already that the where i put the pin through my underwear there is a hole um so i think that the pouches are well made but i think that the, the pin itself is gonna like deteriorate your underwear pretty quickly and if you wear like cheap underwear and you don't really care cool yeah, that is a big thing. Uh, there are two alternatives that I've heard of doing. Like, it's a pretty thick uh, safety pin, so you mm -hmm. can totally see the hole once you like take it back out. You can see that hole. Yeah. So a lot of people try to mimic and do the same hole. But another one is go through the seam so there's already a hole and you're not creating one. I'm going to show you all how to pin it, obviously. Um, I'll just use this guy because he's already in there. Some basic ass Fruit of the Loom underwear. Yay! So of course, once you put the guy in there, you gotta fold the lip over so it's secure. And you could probably already even see the holes, yeah. Of where it was before. So this is my underwear inside out. And what you're gonna do is try to line it up best. I have it a little bit under the waistband because I don't want the blue poking through because I don't want people to know what's going on behind my underwear. 
And then you gotta make sure that you're pinning all, every single layer of fabric. This is the safety pin. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which way you start, like inside or out. I start from the inside to go out because I don't want this bulky black thing showing on the other side. But you, you can do whatever way you want. And then I try to measure the length of the safety pin and try to have it right in the middle because you don't want it skewed to one side because then it'll start like swaying that way. See, this is where it would take me forever to try to find the seam hole. Okay, I'm gonna push it through. Fuck, there we go. And then I try to line it up so it's even. And then push it through the other side. Pin it, and then there you are. This is how it looks on the other side. Flip it inside out. Boom, there you go. And that's what it looks on the inside. Totally consider what kind of underwear you wear. I think pouches are more so for like boxer brief and on like, you know, boxers and shit. Like wearing this, it totally works. It's hidden, like you can't see blue. But I've noticed when sitting on the couch an hour ago, just in my underwear, like you could see through the sides there's some blue. Um, so since it's such a big pouch, consider like what kind of underwear you wear if you wear something small and short and brief. Mm -hmm. I would try a Bantam, maybe even a Junior, but consider the balls on the packer that you wear. Before I even re reviewed this pouch product, I, I have known about Get Your Joy for a minute, but like I never thought I would like it. I was like, I can see how people would like it, but I don't think I'd like it at all. And I actually put it on and it was everything. And it's because, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll explain it. For packing underwear like Rodeo, or any of the ones that we've reviewed, we've reviewed a lot, like with the Inter-Christian, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a pouch and it sits pretty high up, right? Mm -hmm. But cis anatomy, like cis male anatomy, no, AMAB, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Anatomy, everything hangs lower. It's not going to be propped up like perky and shit, you know what I mean? Like this, the bulge is lower, which I feel like it's more... Mm -hmm anatomically correct. I didn't think about that, yeah. Yeah, because I, I know when I lie down on my bed wearing like a rodeo underwear, like the ball just like right up here up on my pelvic bone. Mm -hmm. There's like nothing there. I'm like, that's yeah. not how it is. That's not how it is. But I've always here. thought about that too. Yeah. yeah. How it is here, it's like the tip of my dick is right here. The balls are under there. I'm like, because it's lower hanging, it's a pouch. It's like, wow, this looks more realistic rather than like, a fake like bulge up top. I don't know. Well, that, um, was that made me live for sure. That was that was fucking awesome. But um, I think for me, I might invest in getting a bantam or even a junior. But I don't know if it fit. It's because like there's like an inch or two of extra fabric lengthwise that I don't need. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because of the underwear I'm wearing. It's kind of tight and I don't wear boxers. But like sitting down, I could feel like. There's like an inch or two of fabric lengthwise that I don't really need. Mm -hmm. So eventually in the summertime, I guess that can irritate the hell out of me with all that fabric. Yeah. But yeah, that's the only negative thing I have to say, but that's just a sizing issue mm -hmm. and what kind of underwear I wear. Prices range, but for the ones with the holes, it's anywhere from like 15 to $20. And then without the holes, it's anywhere from like 12 50 to like $18. Um, I heard that the youth ones were like nine bucks, which makes sense because they're so small. So little. Yeah. Thanks so much to Get Your Joy for allowing us to be a couple of ruse. Yeah, we're ruse now. We're ruse now. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for more stuff that we're going to be posting about them and talking about them and just enjoying their products because we really do like them a lot. And actually, uh, Get Your Joy was dope enough to give us our own discount code, which is 10% off. Yes, 10% off, but the higher we rank up, the more of a discount code we get. So if you like these videos, we'll keep doing them, and then we can get more percentage off for y'all. Yeah. Tea time pen. That's right. Oh, it's tea time. Okay, Get Your Joy just told us the discount code. <laughs> it is tea time 10. T-E-A-T-I-M-E 10. Mm -hmm. And just enter it into the promo code right before checkout, and you get 10% off. Yeet! Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Get Your Joey, and thank you all for watching. Yes, thank you. If you have ever worn any pouches like this, totally let us know in the comments below, or if you have any questions, or if you're interested, comment below. Mm -hmm. And you know what to do if you like this video. Please like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. And we will see you next time, y'all. Bye-bye.